Hello everyone, SL Halal Boy here. So today we'll be looking at a lowest deck. Uh, yes, this deck is the same as any rush mage, but I've added some control elements in it so it can survive late later in the game. Well, this deck is, is very easy to play and it's noob friendly. So any newbies out there, this is the deck for you if you want to get your score and rating fast. So we have Christopher Wilde, standard turn 1 drop for any rush mage, pure 1. We are not using Cinderborn because I have a 4 pure 1 and <laughs> Peon cannot be easily destroyed by any abilities. Okay, then Eldon, Priest of the Light, uh, Seductress. I have Tainted Oracles for draw, and you will see how useful it is when we play in a quick match later. Bad, San Bad Santa for burst draw, and the normal burn spells, fireballs and lightning strikes. And here we have Honored Dead. Uh, this is an interesting addition to the deck because it allows an alternative draw that's not bi bilateral. So it only gives you draw and it plus 2 health. Uh, this is used mostly for the late games, late game scenarios. Uh, here we have one. Transmorphication Curse uh, This is for any fetish that you don't want to use your ability on And Novas And one Leyline Nexus so You can't be sure people might beat your ability To use it on their weapons and then they put another better one So you always have to come prepared with an extra Leyline Nexus Uh, good matchups are any control decks that are slow and this deck just outrushes them and makes all of their control cards pointless and ineffective. Bad matchups include weapon heroes uh, because they can deal damage to our hero with their weapons and yeah we we are not supposed to take too much damage from the opponent. Alright. So this deck generally do well against other rush mages due to Honored Dead and our Priest of the Light and the control elements in Seductress. So don't worry for of any don't worry of any other mages. Okay, so let's get to it. Well, it does take some skill to play, uh, especially you have to know the certain matchups and what to expect from the opponent. Alright, sorry for the pause there. Uh, that was an interruption. Alright, so I'm back. Okay, so. Let's start on our first match. Hopefully, we, we can get uh, a good matchup and a bad matchup so you can see how this deck plays out. And yeah, enjoy. Okay, it's a vest. I faced him before, so he's using a woven vest. Could be a problem if he starts to get aggressive early. 
with his woven tacticians. Uh, this could be hard. But it's okay. So first turn, we have a lot of interesting cards. I'm gonna drop on it dead because it's not gonna help early game. You can see from here we have turn two P1 and turn three Elden. So I decide to keep just one Oracle. He drops a woven traitor. Not much of a threat, but let's see. Hey. This could be problematic. Alright, so I'll set the other peon. And I think I'm just gonna play Elder. Let's just hope he doesn't have any... Oh... Not good. Hmm... Okay, here I'm gonna drop the lane on excess because it doesn't really help. And get rid of one the tacticians. <laughs> I don't think this is, this will end well for us with this draw there's no way we could come back ok let's see I'll drop one piece of the light get a tainted oracle out and let's get rid of this traitor Let's hope I get a supernova. Damn. Yeah, my novas are not coming, so I just put another data not very cool. Please give me a supernova. Alright, in this situation, I will just do what I have to do. Alright, I went after the tactician because uh, even if I kill the predator, the relentless Savagery will he would just cast it on the tactician and it would have six attack which is even worse than the five four woven predator. I'm expecting him to just go for a face with will to fight. Yeah, well played by him. There you go. And yes, that's it. Let's 
this just comes up and over yes uh, so as you can see this high high attack allies would kill this deck without any mercy so yes it's a bad matchup for us Just kill me. Alright, it's okay. Let's just hope for a better matchup. Hope we get a control deck so it's easier to burn them. long all right this should be a better matchup third in. all right so for this I don't really have to worry much because his ability doesn't really help in killing me so I will sacrifice one honored dead because I have enough draw in my hands. Two tainted oracles and two bad centers. Okay, he's coming in strong with Festerling turn 2. Alright, I'm not gonna turn 2 bad center because that would just feed him cuts. If he had a decent start, I could be in trouble, but let's just see. <coughs> Ouch. That's a 5 attack swing there. I guess I gotta destroy that festival. It means me to use my fireball and such a tiny ally. So I'll uh, set one oracle and fireball is uh, really pains me. Fireball is meant to do something better. But in the game you have to adapt to the situation. Because if you don't you lose. Ooh, big guy, big guy. So okay, my ability is coming up, so that should be fine. Here we use the crown of ages on the brute. Not 
having luck with the games here. Ouch. Oh, nice. Okay. So he doesn't play anything, so it's out and to play some. Let's go. So I put another oracle for draw and take away his brutes. And finally, I can attack. Whew. There you go, Miss Cat. Okay, so for now. Everything looks fine. Yes, even for that. So this is when seductress comes. And That's why I said there was some control elements in this deck. It's needed actually. Oh, this garden is really getting some work done. Not bad. Let's see what's going to play next. If it's another Hulk, I may have to use my fireball. And yeah, at least it's a better target than Festerling. Oh yeah, I don't. Oh okay. yeah, that makes sense. Although the attack boost on Hulk wasn't really necessary okay I didn't know why he didn't do that it's okay I'll just lightning strike and attack Alright, sorry for the pause. Back. Okay, so he put down three assault planes, and yes, he destroyed my oracles. So now I have two novas. I'm gonna sack a nova. Uh, if you didn't know what that card is, yes. So. Basically, he used his ability to destroy this and killed all my. De dealt 2 damage to all my allies. Alright, so now I'm going to put some pressure on him. Uh, yes, so. Uh, I like to go with. A board presence than just using spells, especially if I got allies in my hand. And yeah, ally, pre ally pressure plus spells equal to a win for you. Okay, so an enrage doesn't matter because lowest ability allows him to remove that enrage. Alright, so he destroyed another of his artifacts to destroy my structures okay so this should be an easy win for me just gonna drop oh, Christopher Wilde that with Eldon Stuck and 
Uh, Christopher. And maybe I will just add one fireball to this attack. should be good I will just drop him below 10 and use my ability on his enrage and he considered okay so that's that's one of the good matchups uh, control decks especially okay let's play one more So basically for a rush deck, you flood the field at the start and end it off with all your spells. I never had the chance to use Priest of the Light effectively but for the next game if I could I will show you. Ooh, Zana. K.A. Andrew and his... 100 cards on Oh, we have a perfect start. Alright, so turn 1, turn 2, turn 3 uh, have all been decided. Yeah. I will set the pure one. And up comes the Chris. So for this, it's all about just burning him. Burning her, I mean. So for this, I will set, set up trust. Let's hope he doesn't... Alright, I'm expecting a devoted knight, but to find that card in a hundred deck, hundred card deck, Alright, that was lucky. Okay, so I'll set one of the extra appearance and I'll get aggressive. So I have to deal as much damage as possible before the tidal wave. The clock is ticking. I have. I am left with one more turn. Well, you always have to expect a tidal wave from a priest, no matter how big their deck is. Turn five tidal wave seems likely. Yeah, so wonder what's taking so long. Okay, right now my problem is draw. If I can get a tainted oracle out, that could be good. And all right, it doesn't hurt so much. It's okay. I'm fine. So, Alright, another pure one. Not good. But it's better than nothing. So, uh, for this, I won't sack anything. And I will just go for face and drop this. If he doesn't have a tidal wave. And see what I mean? It always comes, no matter no matter how big your deck is. Alright, so 
Alright, that's good. I have to run it there. And yeah, yeah. alright, cool. It would be nice if the oracle came early. So I just drop the oracle. And save my ability. Well, I'm waiting for him to increase his hand so I can use my bed center. God damn it. Alright. At this I will go with Breeze of the Light. Alright, she's this Zana is doing well installing me, but I have to find answer first. If not, goes to late game and she gets all the draw and I'm dead. This could be bad. Okay, that's a perfect target there. Hey, no. It's our ability on him. Uh, basically, I just want to get a few draws from that. Okay, good. This looks better. <coughs> Situation is not promising, but I have my burn cuts in my hand, and the, ah, oh, that's not nice. Okay, so, so yeah, we have backup plans here. So I sect my. Hey, and I have a pion. Hey, Christopher, sorry. Get back the damage that he dealt. Okay, so what I can do here is Nova. Alright, that's good for us too. Oh, not dead. <laughs> Damn it! Stop healing. Okay, so I'm just gonna set the honor dead here. Because I don't think it's helping much. He's just gonna heal, so I have to attack him first. Alright. It's good.
Uh, so I wanted to do this and flip it over but I don't know if it's worth it yeah I'll just do it uh, I don't know why I did that but Let's just hope he doesn't have <laughs> shit. So tempting. Okay, good. Shh. Yeah, that's it. My Nova's coming. This really is me off. Oh, I can. Yeah, that works too. Just is this and you. If you happen to have another one, my Nova's will come. Right now, he just has too many options. Ah, stupid son. Really? So for this, I'll just get this and this up. He could use the he could use the location to draw two more cuts. That would be bad. I'm running out of options. He's not. <sighs> I guess it's time to burn him. Burn her, I mean. Wow, really? The hell? It's just stupid. So for now, I just get her down. Hopefully, I could get some damage in. Ah! So unfair. So for this, I'll just it's my lightning strike and fireball. Okay, this is really pissing me off. It's okay. <laughs> okay, 
is trying to mail me, so I will just sack my bed center. <coughs> so what would I do? Okay, this is what I would do, just supernova. And give him get rid of his ropes of mending and get my Christopher Wild up. That should be enough, I hope. Please don't please don't do anything stupid or rash. Please just let me kill you. No, Tinted Oracle doesn't help. Eh? I can still kill him with two supernovas. And yay! That's it. And that's how you beat an annoying Zana. I just give him the foil nova. <laughs> GG. Alright, so that's how that's the tutorial today on using lowest. Alright, so thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. And do subscribe to our Supreme Legion channel. Thank you.